Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about this really disturbing situation with YFM Lucci. So as you guys all know, um, I met Lucci in 2019, um, I had helped film his back to school drive when I was down in Atlanta. I brought my youngest son with me. So he was about 13 at the time. And so we went down to Atlanta. Um, we hooked up with Freddie. And so we were there filming and, you know, got a chance to meet Lucci. And Lucci was really cool. I mean, just very down to earth. He gave my son a bunch of stuff like, you know, just trinkets and T-shirts and backpacks and all that stuff. And, you know, we had a really good time. It was at his old high school and he was doing like a back to school drive. And there was like a lot of like Instagram influencers and a few other celebrities and stuff like that there. So anyhow, yesterday I was doing a Zoom meeting with my Discorders. So we were having a really good meeting. Everything turned out wonderful. But in the middle of the meeting, somebody wrote in the chat that, you know, there's an arrest warrant for Lucci. Um, on murder. And I'm like, wait, what? You know, that was like the last thing I was expecting yesterday. And so I went to kind of just research the story. Um, and I had posted about it on Instagram. And I was just shocked. And so I had ended up telling my son, like, <laughs> remember we were, you know, down there with Lucci? Well, the police are looking for him on, you know, on murder charges. And he was shocked, too. He was like, wait, what? You know, so this entire situation is really disturbing, so what's going on is this. Basically, on December 10th, um, they're saying that police officers were sent to a location um, on People Street in southwest Atlanta. This was around like 520 in the afternoon. And upon their arrival, they discovered a 28-year-old man. His name is James Adams, and he was laying in the street with a gunshot wound to the head. Well, what they realized is that the shooting didn't take place there. He was shot in the head and dropped off. They ended up taking him to Grady Hospital and he ended up dying from his injuries. But what was so crazy is that a matter of minutes is they're taking um, James Adams to the hospital. A second victim, um, he drives himself to the local fire station. So he walks in. His name is Kevin Wright. He's 32 years old and he's suffering a gunshot wound to the stomach. And so they end up rushing him to the hospital as well. He ends up surviving. So I don't know if he's the one who told what happened. I'm, I'm not sure. But he ends up surviving. And so all of these people have been kind of low key slash on the run since December. So there were two other guys with Lucci. So one was 23 year old Rayvon Boyd. The other was a 17 year old, a teenager named Leroy Pitts. They end up running to Miami. So Atlanta police and the Miami police ended up working together and they ended up catching them. So I don't know if they've said something, if the victim said something, I'm not sure. But some way, somehow, they are now searching for YFN Lucci. So Lucci's real name is Rayshawn Bennett, and he's 29 years old. And basically what they are saying is that as of January 12th, they are issuing a warrant for his arrest, and he is being accused of participating in the murder of James Adams. They are charging him with aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. So these are super serious charges on top of murder charges, okay? So this entire situation shook me up yesterday when I heard this. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clips go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary these are searching for rapper yf and lucci in connection to the shooting of two men the rapper whose real name is rashawn bennett is charged with murder in the death of james adams adams was killed in atlanta about a month ago on people street another man who was shot is recovering from his injuries officers responded to a person shot call and located the victim mr james adams in the middle of the street with a gunshot wound to the head a second victim later showed up at the fire station number 14 with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Both of these stemmed from the same incident. Through an exhaustive investigation, the Atlanta Police Homicide Unit, in conjunction with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, have identified three individuals wanted in connection with this homicide. Ray Sean Bennett, 29 years old. Rayvon Boyd, 23 years old. Leroy Pitts, 17 years old. A special thanks to the Miami Police Department, the Miami-Dade Police Department, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Miami, 
and the FBI field office in Miami for the apprehension of Mr. Boyd and Mr. Pitts. Investigators continue searching for Mr. Bennett, and we're asking anyone with information on his whereabouts to contact Crime Stoppers. All right, so you guys just watch those videos. So like I said, you know, I'm, you know, I'm surprised. It's really sad, and I feel like this demon energy, man, it's strong. I'm not saying Lucci because I follow him. I didn't really hear him saying anything about demon time. But what I will say is that, you know, that energy that the industry was putting out there, these demons are coming home to collect, honey. They are coming home to roost. OK, that energy from 2020, all that demon time and all that shit. This is like just really crazy that so many rappers have been involved in just just nefarious, dark things. OK, we've had numerous rappers in 2020 be shot. We've had them be killed like King Von. Um, so many rappers lost their life in 2020. And now we have a situation where another very popular rapper, YFN Lucci, is being accused of participating in a murder. Like, how crazy is that? This is somebody who's made it, who's well-known, who's rich, and yet and still he's finding himself involved in this. And like I was explaining to my son, I don't know if he's the trigger man. I don't know who shot who. But the problem is, regardless of who shot, when you are together with your friend, you know, maybe one of the guys got into an argument with James or the other guy, pulled out a gun and got the shooting. I don't know. Maybe it was a planned, you know, set up. I don't know. But the thing is, when you are with people and they commit a crime, you are going to be charged just like them. So the teenager, the 17 year old, he's looking at very serious time along with everybody else. And who knows if he was the one who even pulled the trigger, if he was just there. But he could spend the rest of his life in prison behind all this. So this is just really disturbing. It's really sad to see how all of this is playing out in the hip hop industry. You know, it's really sad what happened to the victims as well. But again, I don't know what those victims were involved in. So I'm not going to, you know, I want more information to come out because I honestly could see if this was like some struggling up and coming rapper. But lucci has been in the game for a while. He's worked with some of the biggest names, not saying that he couldn't be involved in this or he couldn't have been the one who, you know, created this entire plot. But what I'm saying is that I definitely want more information to come out. I want more details. I want more information to come out. I want to know who these victims are, what they were involved in as well, um, because the whole thing just sounds crazy. And usually when people are that big, Big, they never get their hands dirty okay remember when Kanye was yelling out that Jay-Z wanted him dead do you think Jay-Z is gonna knock on Kim Kardashian's door with a damn thing of roses and a semi-automatic weapon behind his back no he's gonna send people so I don't know this whole situation is insane honey with that being said um Regine did take to social media and she did say something yesterday and this is what Regine had to say she says, most people won't support you until they see it's popular to support you. So that is what she's saying. Um, she didn't mention Lucci's name, but, you know, we can read between the lines that she's still trying to support him. And I guess wait to find out, you know, what all happened right now. He's currently on the run. They want people to call Crime Stoppers and give tips and all that stuff. Now, speaking of tips, <laughs> Tip's daughter, Deja, spoke out as well on this situation. And this is what Deja took to social media to state. She says, Regine deserves nothing but the best. So I thought that was really sweet that Deja said that. But, you know, once again, the, the true tea is this. Regine has to want the best for herself. It doesn't matter how much you want the best for somebody, how much you wish them the best. They have to want it for themselves. They have to see value in themselves. You know, and again, I don't want to judge her too harshly because I don't know the extent of Lucci's involvement in everything. So I can see why she's still standing by him until she finds out what the hell is going on. But let's also keep it real. You know, people always want to act so shocked when these young girls, you know, end up with these type of guys. Regine's father is Lil Wayne, okay? And what did Lil Wayne perpetuate throughout his whole career? He perpetuated drugs, guns, shootings, killings, you know, the typical, you know, fuckboy handbook. Um, he perpetuated all of that. And most women, you look for men who exemplify your father. That's just what it is. You know, if, you're, if your father was in, in the Marine Corps, most women look for men who are also in the military because their father was in the military. People just try to find traits of their father in their relationship. So I'm not shocked at all that she's dating a Lucci. Look at who her father is. 
You know, just like with, you know, Deja. She may want the best for her, but let's keep it real. Deja's own father also perpetuated the same nonsense, selling drugs, shooting, and everything else. You know, so it's really sad, all the stuff that's going on in hip-hop. You know, I was really disappointed to hear this because, like I said, you know, we met him, and he does give back, and he does look out, you know, for his community. But, you know, murder is murder, and it's very serious. And this is why I tell young people that you have to understand that there are consequences and you have to be strong enough to make better decisions. You know, if people want you to be involved in something, it's okay to say no. You know what I'm saying? And, and get yourself out of that situation as soon as possible. Because you may go down for somebody else's beef or somebody else's bullshit that don't have nothing to really do with you. All right, you guys. So we have some breaking news. So while I was in the middle of editing this video, I had gotten an alert to my phone because, like I said, I follow Lucci. And it showed that he was posting on social media. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I went onto his Instagram page and he just posted his new video um, that he has with at Mozzie. And it's called Rolled On. And so it's on YouTube right now. Everybody shook like what in the world? Mozzie's on there commenting. Everybody's on there commenting. And folks are like, uh... Ain't the feds looking for you? And then on top of that, he also posted in his IG stories. And he basically, once again, he's promoting the song. And he's also promoting his daughter's um, YouTube channel. So I feel like there's more to the story. Um, I think there's going to be a lot more information that comes out. There's no way in hell that he would feel that comfortable posting and promoting his music and stuff if they have a solid case. So... I'm definitely going to wait for some more tea to be spilled and watch how this plays out. But yes, Lucci just posted not even an hour ago to let folks know to go listen to his new music. Honey, we are 13 days into 2021 and you can't make none of this shit up. So it's going to be very interesting to see how all of this plays out. Um, like I said, as of now, Lucci's still on the run. He has not been caught yet, but they are searching for him just like they were searching for Casanova. So yeah, this man, the hip hop industry... It is going down. I mean, so many big name rappers are really going through it. And this whole situation is just a shame. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Um, and, you know, if you're getting unsubscribed from my channel because literally people keep telling me that they're getting unsubscribed, please check and please resubscribe. We know YouTube is trying hard as hell to make it so I don't hit a million. You know what I'm saying? Because they keep unsubscribing people. So please check your subscription button. Make sure you hit it if you've been unsubscribed. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit it. You know what I'm saying? If you like this tea, make sure you thumbs up the video. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. Let me know your thoughts on all this drama that's going on with YFN Lucci. Let me know what you guys think about what Deja Harris had to say, what Regine had to say. How do you guys feel about this entire situation in general? Be careful of your words because your words can definitely become your manifestations. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.